Hey everybody, I'm back again. So, um, listen, um, just a little note, just a little message to you all. So when you're submitting for something like a commercial spot, um, a lot of times they, they love, you know, they initially ask for a headshot, um, and your resume, which is great. If you don't have a resume, you need to make a small resume and send it. If you don't have a lot of stuff to add on there, do add your skills and whatever else you have in a resume, make it a PDF, please. Okay, um, but when you submit a headshot, sometimes the producers on commercial spots, depending on what they're going to be seeing, um, they ask for a full body shot. And listen, if you don't have a full body shot, a professional one, um, you can make one quickly with your self timer on your camera phone. Now, I know that some of you have not figured out how to do that. I get a lot of these in the mirror selfies you know, holding them way up here and that kind of stuff. Um, and that's really not professional to do that. Don't hold it up in front of a mirror and take a full body shot, okay? Please don't do that. Figure out your camera phone and how to make a selfie with the self timer. Set it up high enough to where you get your full body, time it, and then, then you have your full body shot. And listen, your full body shot, um, you don't have to dress up. You want to be natural. Um, everything can be natural. You don't even need makeup on. They just want to see your full body um, and how proportionate you are. Okay? Okay, so you could wear shorts and a tank or jeans and a tank. Just be casual, um, you know, and stand against a blank wall or a backdrop like this and do your uh, selfie, okay, with a timer or have somebody take it. Um like I said, it doesn't need to be a professional one. You could do it at home. Um, if you're lucky enough, you have some professional shots, some lifestyle shots. Yeah, it's always in those. But listen, from time to time, every few months, because people's looks change, um, make a self, make a self, uh, full body picture of yourself, um, you know, so that you will always have it. And then when somebody asks for one, then you have a really nice one. You want it to be good lighting. You want to be able to see your face and your full body. Okay, so always remember that. Always have one on standby. Have one ready for if they ask for a full body picture. Um, definitely helps. So I just wanted to pass that on. Most of you are doing really well with submitting things. You submit a good headshot. You've been submitting um, your resume. And you've been putting all your information, your contact information in the body of the email. Like your email address, your contact phone, your agent, your agent's phone. You know, just list those things um, every time you submit for something. And each project is different. Just because I have your information doesn't mean I have it for this one. So you always resubmit for new projects, okay? And also make sure that your resumes are not a docs form or something like that because a lot of them are not shareable. They don't upload to our program. Make sure to make it a PDF file. Okay, it just, it's so helpful because if you don't do that, then I have to download that. I have to fix it and change it to a PDF and then upload it back and then share it to somebody. So this takes time and casting does not have time to do that with, it's not just one person. It may be several or many that do that. So please take notice and make sure that your resumes are PDFs. Okay. And you do that before you send it. Um, so I wanted to share that as well. So it definitely helps, saves time, and you won't get bypassed because a lot of casting will not take the time to do all that. They're like, if it doesn't upload, I can't, you know, work on this. It goes to the wayside. Um, so you're overlooked. Okay. So just wanted to share those things with you and um, we will talk soon. Thank you.